Okay, folks, we're back. Working with Stitch. Stitch is a, well, I guess he's five months old now. He came here at four months old in our five-week obedience course. And his time is almost up here, this five-week obedience course. And um, my man Stitch here had a rough time with obedience. He, um, nope, bad dog, nope, nope, Stitch. So, it doesn't look like he's going to pass his five weeks obedience. And partially because Stitch is an alpha dog. And alpha dogs really don't like to submit. I mean, he doesn't know that he's a puppy. He thinks he's a big dog. Even with, even with all of the other dogs, he thinks he's a big dog. And oftentimes, alpha dogs don't like to submit. I found that to be true. And then what we want to do, guys, is we want to take our time with them and be patient with them and then get them to do the commands and have fun, have fun with the commands. Right now, his eyes is on a cat. And so I told him to sit. I didn't even give him to stay. He just heard stay, though. And so he is starting to pick this stuff up. And um, I invite the cats to come and uh, um, come into the fold because then this is going to, see how I'm going to get his attention? Then it's gonna let me know if they're gonna listen to me or follow their instincts. Hi there, boy. Hi there, Stitch. Or follow their instincts. I want them to be alpha, even over me. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, and we're gonna to continue to work with Stitch until he can do all of his commands when I want him to do the commands, not when he wants to do the commands. More than anything, we want to make it a game. We want to make it fun. Okay. My director's telling me I gotta get going. Only got four minutes. All right, so we're gonna get started. All right, big guy. Stitch, come around. Nope, bad dog, come around. Good boy. No, no, no. No. Around. Sit. Good boy, Stitch. Stay. He also had a problem with submissive peeing. And, um,. You'll find a lot of alpha dogs will do that. When they find out that they're not alpha anymore over me, for example, I'm the alpha here. When he finds out that he has to obey my commands or he's not going to get his way, oftentimes it'll be a conflict of interest within himself and he would do a submissive pee. Oftentimes animals will pee for defensive reasons as well. Um, or if they're afraid. But then this is the one that's in conflict of do I do what he wants or do I do what I want? And P will happen. And what we want to do, folks, is we want to build our confidence and also and also make the commands fun. And then all of that anxiety goes away. So you can see he's not, he's not peeing off of submissiveness. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this off. See, he's a smart dog. He knows that when this leash is on, he's got to listen because I'll actually pull the leash and have him come and do his commands. But now I made it a little fun. So now I can pull this off and we'll start our commands. All right, we'll get started. Boy, Stitch. Dog placement. See? See how he kind of wanders around? He knows what to do, folks. He knows what to do. And so now he's going to do it on Stitch's time instead of the time I wanted him to do. So he don't get a treat for that. Stay. We also have problems with stay. He's getting better. No, nope. see what I mean? Nope, bad dog. We're gonna do it again. Dog placement. This time just with the sign. No verbal command, just the sign. I'm going to turn around and walk away. And I'm not walking very far. So 
So, you know, if we're outside, he'd be all over the place right now. Okay, now we're going to give him... No, 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 bad dog. No. What do we do? We'll bring him back into his spot. I'm running out of time. With our videos. So what I no stay stay stay. So what I just did was come come around sit down. And stay. Down. Down. Stay. Up. Stay. So you can see he knows the commands. But he only does it when he wants to do them. A lot of work with my man Stitch here. Here's one of the issues that we have and my feeding dish is missing so I'll go find it here's one of the issues we have with him staying when I leave the room stay this equals two cups and that's what he gets when he does his commands correctly and feeding etiquette. This time I'm not even going to give him a command because he should know. By now in his five weeks he should know this is what you do. You just stay here. I said the word. <laughs> I'm not even going to leave the gate open. He's doing surprisingly better today. Oftentimes these dogs will turn the corner in that last week. Sometimes in the last few days before they go home, they'll turn the corner. Let's hope that's the case with Stitch because he goes home on Sunday and it's Friday. Looks like he's kind of getting it now. We want his head to follow me. He's waiting for a hand command. I'm going to give him a command to go down. No, no, bad dog. Come around, come around. So instead of him coming back this way, he should always come this way. And right now he wants the food so much, he's not listening to me. This is all distraction. And he knows this command, guys. Nope. 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 And the problem is, is he wants the food. That this is why we work with distractions. No. Stitch. Down. 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 No. No. Stitch. Sit. Sit. Now when we do his sister, watch, he'll do it the first time. Down. Down. No. Down. And this is down. And this is often a problem with alpha dogs, the down position. Because they're in a vulnerable position. And now he wants the food. He don't want to go down. 
but we won't let him eat until he does. Come nope, bad dog, bad dog. Come around, Stitch. Sit, sit. Come around, sit. Down, down, Stitch. Down, down, stay. No, down, stay. His whole back end is shaking. Nope. Down. Stitch. Sit. Down. No. Down. Stitch. Down. You see how he's falling apart? He knows these commands. Down. Stitch. Down. Stay. He's in conflict right now with do what he wants to do or to do what I want to do, want him to do. And so I'm going to put him in a stay. And I know we've gone past our four minutes. So I'm going to put him in a stay, throw that little ball around. I'm going to give him a command to eat, and then I'm going to give him a command out. Now I just said eat, and notice he didn't go. He's waiting for the command. Eat. Stitch out, out, stitch, out, stitch, out, out, bad dog, bad. Oh, he's not listening. See how he's not listening? Bad, bad, out. And this, sit. This is why he's not passing. So in a case like this, then what we would end up doing is adding on more time to his class. Now, we can't let him get away with that. Eat. Stitch. Out. Sit. Come around. Sit. Okay, folks, this is part two. Something happened with the... Uh, the other part of that video um, just stopped. So we want to continue. He's, we're still trying to get um, Stitch to listen to his commands before eating. And what, like I was saying before, this is why he's not passing the class right now. And usually what we do, folks, is we'll add um, more time to the class with certain situations to certain dogs. He is a smart dog. It's just that he's in conflict right now with what he wants to do and what I want him to do. And if you follow my videos, you don't see this very often, but from time to time it does come up. Up. Nope. Around. Sit. Eat. Out. 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 Nope. Out. Sit. Stitch. Come around. Sit. Stay. So if we, no stay. So if we're in a real life situation, and let's say Stitch got was going after someone, and I wanted him to stop it out, I don't want him to continue doing what he's doing. I want him to out and come and sit next to me. That's why we do feeding etiquette the way we do do it. So he just needs to leave the thing he loved the most to listen to me, right? All right, Stitch. So we're gonna go ahead. No, 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 bad off. We're gonna go ahead and let him eat. Sit. But we're only letting him eat after he completes the process, right? If he doesn't complete the process, then we continue to work it. Okay, folks, that's it. For um, those, there's two parts to this video because we lost the first part as we were doing it. And this is the second part. And I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to give a response. Over and out.